What's up, what's up, what's up with my godly people? Welcome to the Drago, the Broncos podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's go. Let's get it, man. Let's dive right into some Bronco talk. I want to talk about last week's game a little bit, and then I want to talk about the upcoming game against the Jets. Um, last week, Teddy Bridgewater had control of the game. He took care of the ball. He did what he had to do. He was stepping up in the pocket. He looked good in the pocket. He didn't look rattled. He made some plays with his arm. He made some plays with his feet. He kept drives going. Uh, he completed He completed the ball on third down. He was moving the chains. And, yeah, he did what he had to do. The offensive line looked good. They was blocking for him. I know they gave up a couple of sacks. I, I believe it was like two or three sacks. That's not that bad, but we need to have Teddy Bridgewater with no sacks. So the offensive line need to step it up a little bit. But other than that, We've been looking good as a, as an offense, as as a unit out there. Um, Teddy Bridgewater found uh, found uh, Tim Patrick right before the half with a touchdown. We had a slow start in this game again. Um, yeah, we went up 10-7 at the half at halftime. Um, Sutton he went off. He had a big day. He had 159 yards. He was catching the ball and making plays all over the field. Um, yeah, he really stepped it up this game. I know last week he had a slow start. He only had like one catch on fourth down. And, um, yeah, this game was 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 a good game, man. On defense and on offense. Um, KJ Hamler. I don't know what's up with KJ Hamler right now. I don't know what he's doing, man. I, I know that he freaking dropping balls. That's what I do know. He need to stop dropping them balls, man. He need to make plays like I know that he can make plays. I know that he can make plays, man. I know that guy got what it take, man. Man, KJ Hamler, let's pick it up, guy. I, I, I know that you I know that you can make plays out there. I, I, I seen you make plays. I seen you make plays. In preseason last year, you was making plays, man. Let's pick it up, man. Let's go. We need you, man. You you a big factor on on offense for us, man. You a key guy on offense for us, man. You got that speed. You got you fast, and you can get over the top of defenses, and you can make plays, man. And you can score. You can score, baby. We need you moving forward throughout the season. Let's go, KJ Hamler, man. Um, no offense, he scored, man. He did his thing with his targets that he got. Uh, he scored in the red zone. He broke the tackle, then he got in for the touchdown. Let's go. He spiked the ball. Let's go, no offense, baby. Let's go. If you want to be the best tight end, you say you want to be the best tight end, well, you got to keep on making plays just like that, and we got to keep on winning. We got to keep this winning train going, baby. Let's go. Winning is contagious. George Payton, our GM, said winning is contagious, and let's keep this going, man. We've been winning since preseason. we like 5-0 and right now if you want to count preseason. Let's keep this winning going, man, because winning is contagious, man. Let's keep this going, baby, throughout the season, throughout the whole season. Let's go. Bronco Country fans, man, I know we all excited right now. We 2-0 right now. We we got an opportunity to go 3-0 right now, baby. Let's go. We got the Jets coming in uh, in Power Field at Mile High. The crowd is going to be there for the first time in a while. I know it's going to be exciting, man. It's going to be exciting for all, just everybody, the team. The organization, just everybody there. It's going to be exciting for everybody. And I'm going to be tuned in, uh, watching the game from home. On Sunday, it's going to be me and my, my two boys here. Uh, yeah, we're going, we're going to have this thing going, man. We're going to get this thing cracking. I'm going to run to the store and grab me some uh some chips and dip, man. And, yeah, let's, let's get this thing going, baby. Let's go. Let's get it, man. Um, Zach Wilson. The rookie quarterback, he had a bad game last week. Um, he looking for he looking for a bounce back game against us, man. And we we can't we can't get that to him. Vic Vangio, we're gonna scheme this guy up again, man. You know Vic Vangio uh, has a history of just shutting down the uh, rookie quarterbacks, and I believe that he gonna do the same thing with uh, Zach Wilson coming in our home in Power Field at Mile High, baby. Let's go. I do believe that Zach Wilson will throw a couple picks to us. Hopefully, Patrick Sertain get another pick. Let's go, like he did in that in that second game, baby. Let's go for his first 
NFL career start, baby, at cornerback. Let's go, PS2. Future shut down. Let's go, baby. Way to ball out that second game, man, for real. Way to ball out, baby. Um, yeah, Zach Wilson gonna have a uh, he gonna have a long day. We got Von Miller on the rush. We got Malik Reed. They gonna be creating havoc. They gonna be uh, getting in, getting after the quarterback. Zach Wilson Wilson gonna have to watch out, man. My boys are coming. Um, yeah, it's going down, baby. It's going down, man. It's gonna be an exciting game, man. Let's get this win, though, man. Let's come to play, man. Let's come to play and give our fans, give our fans what what what, what they want, man. And that's a W at the end of the day. Let's go out there and play play like how we've been playing, and let's just keep this thing going. Let's play for one another, man. And let's yeah, let's let's keep it going, man. Let's keep this winning going. Teddy Bridgewater take care of the ball. Uh, KJ Hamler catch the ball in this game coming up. Um, Cortland Sutton, just keep on, keep on doing what 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 you what you did in this past game. Keep on uh, making plays, man, and, and being Cortland Sutton, man, and being a big dog, the Pro Bowl, the Pro Bowl uh, wide receiver that that we all know that you can be, baby. Keep 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 on making plays, baby, all over the field, baby, because we need you. We shorthanded. We got uh, Jerry Judy, your brother, out right now with a high ankle sprain. Uh, Jerry, Judy, get well, baby. We need you out there making plays for us. Um, no offense. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep making plays in the red zone. Keep making plays on third down and, and moving the chains for us. Um, keep being a security blanket for Teddy Bridgewater whenever he needs you on, on the scramble. Um, yeah. If you want to be the best tight end, no offense, you got to keep making plays, baby. You gotta keep making plays, and you gotta keep scoring touchdowns, and you gotta, and we gotta keep winning. We gotta keep winning, baby. Let's go, let's get it, man. Tim Patrick, let's keep making plays, baby. Keep making plays. I'm not gonna put you in. I'm not gonna put you in my lineup, Tim Patrick. I put you in at the last minute last week. I had Cortland Sutton in there, in there, but I took him out for you because I knew that you was gonna score a touchdown, and you did that for me, but you didn't rack up no yards for me. Cortland Sutton racked up a lot of yards in fantasy football. He had like 30-something points. You only you only gave me like 13, which is cool, but but I'm looking for 20 or more from from my from my offense. So you're gonna have to go to the bench. But yeah, it's all good, baby. Thank you for giving me them 13 points. But yeah, y'all 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 go out there and ball out on these Jets, man. We can't take them. We can't take this team lightly. They uh they desperate and they hungry for a victory and and, and they're gonna do whatever it take to try to, to try to uh steal one from us man for real and, and knock off our, our our winning streak right now our undefeated streak they're gonna try to knock knock down our undefeated streak and, and we don't wanna we don't wanna let that happen baby so let's 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 do what we let's do what we uh let's do what we uh capable of and just just keep this thing going. Keep this winning going, because winning is contagious. George Payton said it, baby. Winning is contagious. This team is a different team right now. I know. I was one of the, I was one of the fans that uh, was on the uh, Drew Locke. Drew Locke bandwagon, man. Drew Locke need to start. And I still do believe that Drew Locke will be 2-0 right now, just like Teddy Rogers. I do believe that. I do believe that Drew Locke did not lose against Teddy Bridgewater in preseason, though, I, I really don't. I, I really think this was just a move to save Vic Fangio's job right now because he on a hot seat right now. He on a hot seat, and he wanted that veteran quarterback, man. He wanted the veteran quarterback in there to save his job. But, man, Drew Locke, I do believe Drew Locke would be 2-0 right now, and we will be headed to 3-0 possibly with the Jets coming in town right now. So, I, uh, I, uh, I wish nothing but the best for Drew. I don't know if he's going to uh, play for us this year. But I, I wish I wish Drew nothing but the best. I do believe that he got what it takes to be an NFL quarterback in this league. He got that he got that big arm, and he got what it takes, man. I've I seen a lot of growth in his game. 
He was stepping up and moving, moving in the pocket. He wasn't, he wasn't looking shaky. He was throwing the ball away, which, which he wasn't doing in the past. I seen growth in uh, Drew Locke's game, man. He was checking it down and all of that, man. So I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it, but it is what it is. Teddy Bridgewater, he doing his thing. Let's keep this thing going. I don't got nothing against Teddy Bridgewater. I like Teddy Bridgewater. I think he a solid, good veteran quarterback. But I just thought that they was going to give Drew his run, his real run with a, with a, uh offseason and training camp. And all of that, his, his the, the uh, offense not changing, and having Pat Shermer back, all of that. I just thought, I, I just thought all of that was just gonna work in Drew's favor, and he was gonna come out and he was gonna ball out. I really, I really, I really did believe that. But I wish nothing, I wish nothing but the best for Drew Lock. But we gotta move on from that. I can't do nothing about that. I can't do nothing about that, but. Just move forward. We got Teddy Bridgewater. Teddy Bridgewater winning. That's that's what we want, Bronco Country fans. That's what we want at the end of the day. We want to win. We want to win. Whether if it's Drew Locke or Teddy Bridgewater, we want to win at the end of the day. And that's what that's what it's all about. We want to get the win, baby. We play to win the game. We play to win the game, and we've been winning, baby. We 2-0. Possibly can be three and zero. Let's go, man. Let's let's get this dub at home. Let's ball out. Let's ball out, baby. Let's just ball out, man, and, and go three and zero. After that, we got the Ravens coming in. We got the Ravens coming in. We got to deal with Lamar, but we got something for Lamar, baby. We got something for Lamar, for sure. We're gonna be ready, but this game is gonna be a test for us. This game gonna show. This game gonna show a lot. This game gonna show a lot for our team to see where we at against a top top team like the Ravens coming in. I will be tuned into this game. And yeah, I do believe that we could beat these guys as long as, long as we play like how we've been playing. I don't, I don't see why we can't beat these guys for real. But we'll see when that game uh, take place, man. We'll see. We have to just wait and see. But, yeah, I'm excited right now as a Denver Bronco fan, baby. We winning right now. My friends want to rain on my parade right now because I've been talking a little bit. But I have a right to talk about my team, baby, and what we've been doing these, these past two games. Man, I have a right. I have a right. I have a right to say what I want to say about my team right now, baby. Because we 2-0, man. I know we got a long way to go, and it's a long season. But don't rain on my parade because we 2-0. For real. Don't rain on my parade, man. I'm excited, man. I'm excited Denver Bronco fan right now. We ain't been winning, man. We ain't been winning in September for a long, long time now, man. And I'm excited, baby. And, yeah, let's keep this winning going, man. Winning is contagious. That's all I have for y'all today, man. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. Peace and God bless. Go Broncos. Go Broncos, baby. I'm out. God bless you guys.